Hey, 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 it's your boy Juni, aka Beef Jerky Style, and today I got for you something very special. Tonkas, bite sized tonkas. Look at that. This is my first time ever making tonkas, so I've been asking my friends who've uh, cooked it before for their recipes, but they never give it to me. Must be some secret society stuff. So I decided to uh, find a recipe on my own and try it out. I uh, tweaked it a little bit and made it bite sized. Look at that. Look how. It looks amazing inside. I used a fattier cut of pork, and these are delicious. Here, let me try. Mmm. It is so good. And you know, if you eat this uh, at a Korean restaurant, they usually give you a side of cabbage with a sauce on top. The sauce is basically just ketchup and mayonnaise. It's tasty, it's simple. Let's give that a try. Mm. I use Japanese uh, kewpie mayo for this. Dude, oh, this brings back some memories. I used to eat this a lot when I was a kid. And I used to love the salad part. Here. And there's a sauce down here. I don't know if you can see it. The tonkatsu sauce. That was pretty easy to make too. I put it in between the rice and the tonkatsu. Um, here, let me try a piece with the sauce on it. Mmm. Ooh, nice and tangy. Just like I remember it. Oh, this is awesome. Look how juicy this is. You see that? I used a fattier cut. It was a, a pork butt. I sliced it up into small cubes and then hammered them down with a meat tenderizer. And that's why they're kind of small. Man, the fattiness is awesome in this. It's like so moist and juicy inside. Mmm. Mmm. So good. And that crunch, the uh, panko breading on the outside, so good. So the breading, I just basically dredged it in flour, put in egg, and then in the panko breading. And then I put it in the fridge for a little bit to cool, cool down, stiffen up a little bit. And then I heat, heated up some oil to about 335 degrees and just let it fry for a little bit. I checked the internal temperature to make sure it was all cooked. It took about maybe three, four minutes because these are so thin and small. It cooked real fast. Dude, that sauce is bomb. The sauce is really easy to make. It was about one tablespoon of ketchup, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, about two teaspoons of oyster sauce, and about one teaspoon of sugar. You can tweak it to however you want it. If you want it sweeter, you add more sugar. If you want a little bit more tangier, you can add more ketchup. Right now, you should start off at 
at those uh, proportions because this tastes real good. Mm, this is so good. I've had tonkatsu a lot when I was a kid. That's basically what I would order all the time if the place had it. And as I grew older, I didn't really eat it as much. I remember one time I went to a Japanese restaurant with uh, one of my buddies. Shout out to PU. He's a huge tonkatsu fan. He gets it all the time. And it wasn't on the menu there, but I saw something on the menu. It was katsu don. So I'm like, yo, hey, I found it. He's like, I don't think that's it. I'm like, what do you mean, katsu don? That's just how they, <laughs> that's just what they call it at Japanese restaurants. <laughs> so he ordered it and it was like a rice dish with stuff on top. It wasn't tonkatsu at all. <laughs> He wasn't too happy with that because he had to eat it. <laughs> and then I went to Korea about two or three years ago. And um, I went to a tonkatsu restaurant. It was called Wang Tonkatsu. Well, I don't know if that was the name, but that was uh, the tonkatsu I ordered was a wang tonkatsu, which means king tonkatsu. That thing was huge. It was way bigger than my face. It was like this big. Super thin. Huge. It was so good. Apparently it was, uh, that restaurant was known for it. It was on TV and stuff and endorsed by a whole bunch of celebrities. Oh, this is so good. If you make this, I would suggest using a fattier piece because normally people use lean cuts of meat for tonkatsu. Oh man, this fattier stuff is really good. And this cabbage salad. Mmm. Well, it's a simple recipe. It's easy to cook, especially when there's small sizes like this. It cooks fast. Definitely give it a try. I mean, let me know how you like it. You know, I actually had tonkatsu like fish before. That was pretty good too. And I tried a beef tonkatsu. That was pretty good too. I mean, there's different kinds. You can use different meats. But yeah, thank you for watching. Give this recipe a try. Let me know how you like it. Thank you for all the support. I'll see you next time. I'll look back.